what is up guys and girls here we are sending them on monday we're on it we're up andrew is ready well yeah that's the way it started down it chug some water let's see what this day ahead of us holds and uh hope it's a good one the vibes are good andrew's looking good i'm alive that's a good start living and breathing and all that jazz and uh yeah what more can i say let's hope the day at work does not drain me too much something like that hope you guys are winning i hope you're in a good place mentally physically spiritually emotionally financially most of all though kind of hope you've just got that little bit of sort of like childlike excitement within you somewhere it's always a good vibe man grow old but never grow up something like that let's get this day rolling let's get to work see what the universe has in store for us I know whatever it is it does have in store for us is pretty epic. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. Roll that intro. Ah, it's a bit early, but what's a few minutes between friends? good vibe to see the uh, the cleaner back i've got a little bit of time to speak to her this morning she seems a little bit more stoked than she was so definitely a good vibe a little bit disappointed because i was hoping it was going to be another awesome day today but typically a little bit cloudy don't matter though we're not going to grumble we've got the skateboard we've got everything that we need to make it a good day kind of would be nice though if the clouds decide to disappear between now and lunchtime wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? <sighs> Monday. You gotta know what time it is, right? How's it going, Mr. Chris? Oh, you are in, are you? Yeah, dude. How's it going? Have they given you your own key now? So no, you can just come and go when the, you want. The, the cleaner was coming out last. Oh, week. legend. Tell your management because I'll get done for that. Nah, not at all, mate. Not on my watch, mate. <laughs> well, lunchtime is over. It was quite funny. Didn't bother going to skate. More so because it's a week and a bit until Russ leaves so we've just been kicking it talking madness and uh, it was funny because he was asked I've got a job interview tomorrow and he was saying am I going to get suited and booted the short of it is is hell no it's a factory job I am not trying to dress up I'm not trying to be something that I'm not you either employ me on the experience and, and what I bring to the game but whatever two minutes later I got a phone call from the guy like the agent representative that's getting me through this interview He's talking about having like a, a preparation for the interview and then he ended the conversation with have you got a suit and tie and I was like dude I will tell you this now I don't do suit and tie I am merely going for the job if I get the job and they employ me for who I am and what I can do that's a thing but I am way over trying to be something that I'm not just to look right he goes well first impressions are very important and I said and yeah don't get me wrong however Experience has proved to me that I've had people turn up for jobs fully suited and booted, but they don't know their A roll from their arsehole. They haven't got a clue. I'm nearly 40, I've been around the block. I know the shtick. I'll turn up as I did to this place where I look like I'd just come back off of a six month backpacking trip from Cambodia. And if you want to employ me for the skills that I bring to the table, then that's fine. However, I am not doing anything other than that. I don't want to waste your time if you think that is the case. And he goes, well, do you have a shirt? And my words were, yes, I have plenty of them. They are Hawaiian shirts and I wear them every Friday. And he was like, well, at least you're gonna be colorful and like says about your personality. Dude, if I should have logged it, it was epic. I had Russ and uh, Mick just looking at me in awe of like, are you really telling this guy what time it is? And it's like, yeah, dude, because I, I ain't got time to play. I'm getting older, man. I ain't about ready to start being something that I'm not for a company that I ain't too fussed in, like, do you know what I mean? I, I wanna better myself and do something cool, it'd be different. If I was going for a job with British Airways or like to work in an office or 
I don't know, I was gonna go and work at Pinewood Studios, then maybe I might think about getting out the white shirt and polishing the shoes, but even then, dude, like, we either click, you want me as an employee because I suit a bill and I bring experience to a table that, you know, others don't have but if it's a case of we're all going to have like a, a usual suspects lineup and you're going to pick the guy that's got the shiniest shoes then guess what you know what you can do with them shiny shoes <laughs> Well, we'll figure that one out as it goes. If he's that prompt that he phones me at six on the dot and dinner's served, then I'll have to be like, bro, don't worry about the interview. I'll be fine. I mean, based on this guy, I expect he's literally phoning six bang on the dot. Yeah, so uh, check me out, man. I am getting a, a pre-interview interview. He's like gonna dry run me through it. And uh, yeah, he really wants me to get the job, bless him. So uh, I'll give him props for that. Never have I ever had so much enthusiasm from, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, like not a rep, but like an, an agent, wasn't it? Yeah, to get me a job. It's gnarly, like next level gnarly. Uh, the most funniest thing is the, uh, the email that I got sent, which basically breaks down what I need to do in the interview itself. The three top tips, which were epic, Make sure you back up your answers with plenty of work and examples, i.e. Yes, that is something I have done, for example, when I worked on a project for my old company, etc. Don't be afraid to answer no to a question, but make sure if you answer no, you spin a negative into a positive. For example, that is something I could pick up and learn very quickly or have done something similar, etc. The last one though is, is the pickler. I love this. If they ask whether you have any other interviews, and this is verbatim, this is word for word, it says, please say that you have some other irons in the fire as this will help increase the urgency with the client. Dude, I don't know how many job interviews you've been on. I've been on more job interviews than I have hair on my head. And uh, let's just say long gone are the days of me molding myself to be somebody that I think they want. Now I just am what this is. And if you want me on the team, let's go. Like I'll brush my hair, man. And I don't want that to come across sounding like that's me just being a complete douche about things. I'm employed, I have a job. And even if I was going big dog styly here, I'd kind of hope that maybe they'd want to take me for what I bring to the table, not over how good I look or first impressions. like said earlier to somebody i bet like fred west had good first impressions who did you say ted bundy Ted Bundy. he was a really nice guy right a charming man there you so go ed kemper ed kemper loved so was life. jimmy savile dude. police officers loved ed kemper yeah everybody you know and i'm just like dude first impressions can be a little bit sort of and then he went mother, so like seven i don't think i can put that on the block <laughs> <laughs> so yeah on that really positive <laughs> note yeah bring on this pre-interview interview hello yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, again, I've sort of preparations of dinner are ongoing in the background, but yeah, I've got I've got some time on my hands. Fucking sturgeon again. Oi, less of the bad mouth and the sturgeons. Well, I don't want a sturgeon. I just caught a sturgeon. I caught a legendary sturgeon. Right. It was twenty kilos. Alright, I'm way more than that. Well, guys and girls, the evening's drawing in. I've done my pre-interview interview. interview. It is what it is. The madness is real. I got told not to discuss any of my current electronical background because there's also a second position available, which is less money. And they will more than likely try to talk me into that if I mention my electronical background. So basically, I've got to delete the last four years of my life and just talk about key. If they ask me about what I've done for the last four years, I think I might just have to say I have plenty of irons in the fire. Um, yeah just spent an hour or so talking to a good friend of mine which we haven't spoken for ages and that's kind of been a vibe because i was bumming out a little bit before then and uh long story nothing drastic but just mindset headspace it's really weird caught ben gravy's vlog he was wearing a hawaiian shirt that i sent him he gave me a shout out monumental high and then off the back of that i was just kind of like what are we doing guys and girls where are we pushing 
What are we trying to achieve? What's the next step to furthering the long-term goals? Heavy thoughts for a Monday night, dude. But then having a conversation with a mate of mine, Jamie, was just monumental just to talk a load of rubbish and have a laugh. And yeah, it's all good. So guys, girls, I hope your week's got off to a fantastic start. I hope you're winning. I hope you're more positive and just like than I am right now. Go for it. Get those tiny little steps towards the big things you want to achieve in life. Don't lose faith in yourself. Keep pushing. And I'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening.